right amount of beans. I've found in my years of uh, experience that 300 grams or 330 grams is pretty good because then I get three roasts out of one kilo. So uh, first what I do is I put my beans on the scale and uh, tear it out. Then I just pour out until I've taken 300 and 30 and uh, by roasting about the same amount every time I I uh, what do you call it don't know do the same thing every time <clears throat> so that's that step now take my beans outside and roast them and the setup is very simple so I have a fan here to blow away the excess chaff and we'll put the camera up here All right, now you can see everything and hear the neighbor saying the same word over and over again like a parrot and can see here I've got my green beans ready to go heat gun uh, timer there so you can see how long it takes and uh, fan running over there on um, just speed setting one just to blow away the excess heat and chaff away from the hot air gun okay so what I'm going to do is actually roast them in a small nice solid stainless steel pot first of all heat gun is on full heat setting maxed out and uh, Full blast, that's what we want. Don't want to melt the melt the phone. I heat heat up the pot first, preheat the pot a bit. Just um, speeds things up. You don't want to be starting with a cold cold start, you know, like a diesel engine. And um, so anyway, after this is heated up for a minute or two. I think I've been roasting my own coffee beans now for about seven, eight. How long has it been? Eight, nine, maybe nine years. So, pretty used to it now. Nine years of roasting my own coffee. At least, uh, well, on average, probably more than once a month. Nowadays, the average is about. Um, a little bit more than twice a month. Okay, the pot should be hot enough. Let's chuck the beans in. Take the heat off them with the gun when you're not stirring. You don't want to burn the top layer of beans. Start stirring and put the heat in there. You want to get the nozzle of the heat gun in deep. Whoops, we're going to start the timer. Get the nozzle of the heat gun below the surface of the pot so that um, the fan's not blowing any of the heat away. And I've got the pot sitting on a cardboard box so that it won't melt plastic. It doesn't get hot enough to uh, light the cardboard on fire, but it does get hot enough to melt plastic. Around 200 degrees to roast the beans. 190, 198 I think they go start going into the second crack and that's it you just got to keep stirring the whole time if you ever stop stirring you'll burn the beans
colour should be starting to look, starting to go more yellowy out of and about now. Put it on um, fast forward. See the colour change a bit quicker. This is a pretty comfortable way to do it. Get the uh, the pot set up at the right height so that you can have the uh, hand that's holding the gun just resting on your knee. The other option is if you've got a clamp, you can clamp the gun to something to hold it at the right height, and then you've got that hand free to do other things, like have a sip on a beer. And the best way to do this, of course, as I've shown in my other coffee roasting video, is to have a bread maker stir the beans for you and have the gun, the heat gun mounted on a uh, something, clamped to something so that you've got both hands free. You can sit back and sip on a beer with one hand and stick chips in your mouth with the other hand. For, uh, around 15 minutes while they roast, pretty good. So we've got a pretty good uh, yellow colour coming on here. So you're asking why haven't I got a gun clamped to something now? Why haven't I got a bread maker? But here in Thailand where I've been for five years now, I don't seem to uh, have bread makers here and I couldn't be bothered bringing my bread maker over with me. There and my luggage get over the top. We're getting a nice brownie yellow colour now, and uh, heading toward the fourth minute. It's all happening pretty quick. And you can see here by using the heat gun, we're not getting any dark spots, yellow spots, while the rest of the bean is green. No, we're getting a nice overall, well, well. Uh, rounded roasting colour. I'm referring to those black spots and burnt spots because some people uh, try to roast in a fry pan or in the oven. The problem with that is um, it's very difficult to stir the beans fast enough uh, that the heat is evenly distributed throughout the beans. Whereas hot air and stirring, hot air distributes itself pretty well. Of course this doesn't, you, you, I'm still not getting perfectly distributed roast here. You can see some of them are lighter colour than the others but compared to roasting in a fry pan this is uh, the gold standard. If I did this with a heat uh, bread maker I'd get you know, as close to perfect as you can get without using a professional roaster. Stirring by hand, even though it looks pretty thorough, is not as good as a bread maker stirring. Still get some beans that manage to burn. Well, go roast quicker than the others, somehow. any better with this hand stirring method. But as long as you keep stirring fast, you get pretty damn Satisfactory roast at the end of the day. At the end of your 15 minutes. First crack, 6 minutes 45 seconds, just heard the first crack, it's 
starting to go off now. here for and the other good reason that the heat gun is a good way to roast because the heat gun is actually blowing the chaff off the beans. The agitation of the stirring is knocking it off the beans and then the, the heat gun blows it out of the way and then the, the other pan I've got going blows it away from the roast so it's a really good way to roast get that chaff off the beans. coming out. Oh, look at that nice brown, mocha brown colour to the beans there. First crack is sort of puttering away. beans expand quite a bit um, so the pot is a lot fuller now than it was when I started they also lose weight if I weigh this again after I'm finished roasting it'll probably be around 300 gram instead of 330 or maybe even less I guess that weight is uh, oils or something that evaporates out of them or whatever while they're roasting Hopefully not in the weight of the beans that have flicked out while I've been stirring. I think I've only lost a couple. Oh, come on. Saw hand, saw arm. I don't do this every day, so my arm actually doesn't really get super used to it. Getting a nice chocolatey brown colour coming on now. Won't be long before second crack starts hitting. The first crack's pretty much all finished off now. Gotta be careful. Pot's starting to get so full I can start spilling the beans. Second crack starting now. It's got a more campfire sound to it. Crackling of the campfire. Oh yeah, there it is. Second crack. Now you can back the heat gun away a little, a couple of inches. 
you don't want to accelerate into second crack too fast. Roast in that flavour. Roast in that flavour a little bit slower once you hit the second crack. And when I take the heat gun away, it starts smoking a lot more than you can visibly see at the moment. 12 minutes, not bad. Now I'm probably going to stop about now. It's about it's about how I like it there. I don't want them to be too black. And a little bit further. I want a medium roast. Try to get that medium. I don't want dark roast, it's too much acidity, too much bitterness in the dark roast. I like that medium roast flavour. Lots of crema. Mm -hmm. Lots of crema when you put it through the espresso machine. Yeah, I reckon that's pretty much it, eh? Righto, let's cut her off there. Cut the heat off. Smoking a bit more there. Alright, so now to finish off the roast, we cool the beans. That's where I got the this here. Let the uh, the heat out of the beans a lot quicker. Pull the fan over. And run three. And I just turn the beans a bit in front of the fan to cool them down, stop the crack. Stop the second crack. That's enough. When you're doing it with a with the bread maker, it can actually go a lot faster and the cracking and the heat it all builds up so much you need to cool them cool them real fast and the best way to do that is to use a vacuum cleaner throw them into a uh, where you have a can with a hole cut in the side for the vacuum cleaner hose to stick in and then you drop them on top and boom they're cold in 10 seconds but um, this, this method's fine pulls them down enough to stop them roasting stops the roast of wherever you want to stop it. If you were to leave them in the pot and just keep roasting and go a little bit darker than what you actually want it to stop at. Some people pour the beans out on a marble bench top or something, let them cool, but I prefer this way. Still too hot to put your hand into. I put a thermometer into them once after about this much cooling, and they're still over 100 degrees Celsius. But they're roasted about 190 or something, so they're well and truly finished roasting. So every bean counts. Now you can see that some of them are a bit darker than others. It's not perfect roast. But I reckon uh, pretty hard to compete with that with your with a fry pan method. Okay, what do you reckon? So that's it. We'll be having this for uh, coffee tomorrow morning. <laughs>